Hello everybody. Today's trash find, well, from the tip, is this Turbo Power Freedom. Do you know what? I've been really lucky when I think about it because not everyone has a local tip near them or dump or whatever you want to call it. And I do. It's only about 10 minutes away from me. And whenever I go there, I always end up with things that I like. And if I was to put this on eBay, done up, I would get a shed load of money for it. Well, I, I think I would. I probably would. Um, yeah, so today's lucky find, and it really was lucky, because people have to buy these because they can't go to a tip and they can't reuse things. Or Well, they can. that doesn't really make sense. Basically, people that don't have a tip near them, you know, especially... The vacuum collectors, you have to buy all the machines. I get lucky and I find loads of the vintage machines that I like at the tip. So today's lucky find was a Turbo Power Freedom. So lucky, unlucky, unlucky that it was a Freedom with a perma bag. As I, well, as you all know, I prefer bagged machines. But um, you could say it was lucky because the Freedom is rarer. So that's even a word, more rare. Basically, I'm glad I've got it though, because it does complement my Turbo Master Freedom. So I've now got a Turbo Power Freedom and a Turbo Master Freedom. However, this is it. I hate these things. Just a side note. See these? Round my house, we get absolutely loads of them and I hate them and I've got no time for them. I can't stand them. Oh. Anyway. <laughs> so here's this. Yeah. So it has it is in a bad state. It's got no tool. This is as I found well, you can tell it's as I found it, but it, it, I've not done anything. It was like that in the skip. It was laying upside down. It had been chucked in and the handle was at the bottom and the floor head was sticking out. I only knew it was a turbo power because I saw the but all I could see was the underneath of the floor head. So when no one was looking, I, I couldn't get it from where in our in the Electrical appliances skip of the tip that I go to. Um, there's a little stairway and you go up these tiny little stairs, only about that high. And you go up, throw whatever you've got in and you walk away. And this was nowhere near the little stairway. So to get this, I had to run round past the bars that mean no public access, past the little railings. Go right the way around the skip and stretch in and hang over, probably breaking every health and safety thing the poor tip workers are trained not to do and yank it out that way. But no one saw and I've got it and I didn't really, I want to knew what it was, I didn't want to leave it. Um, I saw the underneath and I thought, ooh, originally I thought Turbo Power 2. I thought, from what I saw, it looked like a brown Turbo Power 2. And then on a closer look, I knew it was a Turbo Power 1. Didn't know it was a freedom. Thought, oh, it's just a Turbo Power One. And then I looked and I thought it's in a really bad state. And I thought, don't know why, because the dark maroon colour or whatever colour it is, it, for some reason in the skip, it looked like the handle was missing because it was buried under a load of rubbish, the handle. So it looked like that part was missing. So I didn't really, I thought, the handle's missing. It didn't look, it just looked like it had been removed. I don't know why. And I couldn't see the hose. That was buried under the rest of the rubbish as well. So I thought, it's got no pipe. It's got no handle. I thought, I'll leave it. Then I looked again and I thought, oh my God, it's, it's got the handle. And then I saw that coming out and that was buried under a load of stuff. So I pulled it out. And then I thought, flipping heck, it's got a headlight. And I was glad I did. So let's have a look at it now, shall we? Because I've not done anything to it, as you can see. So, as usual, we are thick with dust. Um, yeah, so it's got height selector here. And it's got tool mode, which it's in now. And that really explains itself, because the hose is loose. So the last time this was ever used, before it was thrown away, it was obviously used in tool mode, which is why that's loose. Um... Luxury pile carpet, long pile carpet, medium pile carpet, short pile carpet. Is there no hard floor setting? Well, that's got a dot above it. I don't know what that means. Um, no, and for some reason, it doesn't want to come out of tool mode. Not to worry. It says, that arrow says, like, push back and then pull that way, and I'm doing that, and it's not... It's not moving. I don't know. We'll have to have a look. 
I don't suppose anyone's got the manual for this. If you do, please scan it in on vacuum land and make my day. Um, yeah, so great. We've got a turbo power one that won't come out of tool mode. Never mind. I'm sure we'll fix it. And speaking of tools, let's put this back on here for now. That's how that should go. So it uses sort of the same toolkit as the Turbo Master. The extension pipe, well, the Turbo Master I got from the tip, I was very lucky with. That had all the tools. This is missing loads. Well, it's missing them all, unfortunately, this one. It would have um, the extension pipe there, extension one, whatever you want to say. And it would have a crevice tool there, which is what those two supports are for, a dusting brush and an upholstery tool. Or in those two spots, one will be an upholstery tool, one will be a dusting brush. I can't remember which way round it goes. I think, yeah, I just, I think that's what it is. It's the same as the Turbo Master, as I said. We've got a switch here. Ah, it's two speed. Woohoo, I didn't know that. It's two speed. Flipping neck. So we've got one, which will be low power. High power, the other side, and in the middle is off. I didn't know that. That's cool. Um... Got a bag full light there. Whether that works, I don't know. On my Turbo Master. That's the one fault with my Turbo Pasta. Turbo Pasta. Ha <laughs> aren't I hilarious? That's the one fault with my Turbo Master. The bag full light doesn't work. And here's a blanking plate where on the model up you would have had a cord rewind. So, let's talk about the bad things now. The clean filter. That thing's missing, the little knob. Um, it's got a green sticker on the front, which would probably leave a load of green residue when you remove it. Well, not green. It'll just leave a sticky, horrible patch that'll have to get off with GIF, which is always annoying. Um, those screws are definitely not original. Someone's been doing a bit of DIY there, I think. Fix it yourself. There's none on that side. Um, yeah, I don't know why they're there. I'm sure when we open it, we'll find out. What else is there? I'll show you the underneath of it when we go outside to test it, because I don't know if it works yet. Um, yeah, and I saw the back of it as well when it was in the skip. And this snapping off is so common, the lower cord hook, because what people used to do by mistake, they just forget, they, they push out to wrap the cord around. When you go to use the machine, you take the cord off and you push that back in. And what people used to do, they do it all the time, they just forget is they take the cord off, they leave that stuck out, and that should be a plastic maroon clip to match the colour. They would leave it stuck out because they just forget to press it back in. They would recline the machine to use it, and it would just drag on the carpet and snap off. And that's so common to be missing like that. And they would have sold loads of them as spare parts. When I saw it like that, I thought, flipping heck, honest to God, for a fraction of a second, I thought it had its bottom cord hook but it's just a DIY piece of metal someone's put in place, which, you know, credit to them. Someone who likes th fixing things has obviously had this machine, but we're going to fix it the right way with Hoover parts. So let's have a look in here. How does this... There we go. I went, do you know what? I went to go like that, and then I started doing that. I have no idea why. I think they... Well, it does push down. So, yeah, the filter's missing. I've got a spare filter, though, in there. I bought for my Turbo Master and never fitted it, so I'll just use... That's one of my parts bins. I'll just use that. I've got a brand new, new old stock filter. Well, I think it's new old stock. It's supposed to be a HEPA filter there. Off note, but just in case you're wondering. Two Brymar valves. 1940s Colster brand radio from the tip and slowly but surely I'm buying the valves it needs. So far I've bought that valve and that valve and they're the boxes. Three more and hopefully it should work. Side note, I may video that when I refurbish that because that will look amazing. Um, oh look I didn't see that. Just took this little cover piece off off the perma bag. The awful perma bag because we know the bad. Um, right, that's very interesting, that. Someone that doesn't like perma bags has had this machine, and, well, we don't like them either, do we? 
So we've got here, we've got an elastic band which is very loosely fitted around this, whatever that is, probably the bag intake tube thing. Yeah. And this won't come out for some reason. Um, oh, there's a screw there. I don't know whether that screw is supposed to be in there like that or not. It doesn't look... Hmm. To me, you take this whole thing out. But you might not. I don't know. To be honest, I've not got a clue what I'm doing. Um, I've never had one of these machines before. So, yeah, right. That's interesting. Ooh, is that? Ooh. Oh, it's got um, it's got a Hoover Junior bag. That's nice to see. They've got the right idea. Don't use the Fermi bag. So this Junior bag. Well. I'm saying that, it could be a senior bag. There's lots of fine dust in here. It's a nice idea, but really, if you want to use these with a bag, you need the bag door, because that's not full, and already it's dust is going. Oh. <sighs> Look at that, two clothes bags. I know it's sad, but we'll take them off and I'll give them to my mum for the washing. We're always losing clothes pegs. Right, so there's a nice bit of those elastic bands are probably older than me. There's a nice bit of muck in there, but the bag's not full and it was already hard to get out, so. What else is in there? I don't know. I don't know what I'm doing, really. Um, Let's bin this. There's too many vacuums in there, which is why this one's outside, just was to make that video. So. As I always do, chuck that in the bin. And we'll go back in here. Right, now, people that know more about these machines than me, I'll have to watch some videos on YouTube of the Turbo Power Freedoms so I know what I'm doing. Is there supposed to what is there supposed to be anything on there or is that right? I find it hard to believe Hoover would leave a piece of sharp metal coming out as the fill tube. Someone tell me. What's missing? Or is this a replacement thing? Just tell me what should be there. So what you're supposed to do is put a filter on there, which I've got a spare one of, which I'll probably do. And once you've got a filter on there. That goes and clunks. See, that's not sitting right. That's more out. It should be... Oh, it's just a bit. I need a bag door, don't I? Um, yeah. So that goes and you'd have a filter and then the muck's supposed to go in there. But on the Turbo Master one, that part comes off and you empty that into the bin. So I'm beginning to think that that screw shouldn't be there and someone's DIY tried to put it on there because that now means I can't take this whole part out and it's got a crack in it there see a little crack can you see it yeah you can't crack there and I don't know what else is wrong it's not a bad idea that though putting a paper bag in there like that it's not hmm my mind is thinking of possibilities so yeah, I don't know what else to say, really. Let's plug it in and test it. I don't know what headlight bulb this takes. I don't know if it's the later 12 volt one or if Hoover was still using 240 volt headlight bulbs at this point. Right, I'm putting this on without that bag in and without the filter. So this is probably going to blow a shed load of dust out the air vent when I plug it in. We'll try it on low first, hey? So if we flick the switch to the one setting... That's in low. We turn it round, shall we? What plug have we got? See, as well, these lean awfully like the Turbo Masters did. Look at that. Terrible. Um, we've got ourselves... Well, I'll tell you what we'll do. We lower... Oh, should that swivel? It feels like it should. Oh, it does. Good. I nearly snapped it off. Oh, I thought, oh, it's, oh my God, it feels awful. It feels like it's going to snap off. I don't think I'll be doing that again. Um, there we go. 
Well, actually, I am going to. I'm going to have to to put it back. It just wow, oh, it's making an awful sound. Feels like it's going to snap off of my hand. That I don't know whether that's because it's old plastic. So, what you should do, whether this one will still do it, because it's a bodge job. Huh. Yeah. That is what's supposed to happen. And you can see underneath the parts of a snaps off clip. So that's that's how that. That's how that does that. That's actually quite a solid repair. I will probably leave that on if I can't buy. Even if it's not the right colour, I would like a proper cord hook on that. <sighs> to be honest, if I refurbish this or clean it, whatever, I might just put it in the loft until, I don't know, until. Um, it's got a nice hoover roundel on it there. So, put it in setting one. Let's put it outside. Tell you what we're going to have to do. I can't get it out of tool mode, so the suction's going to be through the hose. So I'll have to take it out of here, otherwise the motor will strain. God, why is that jammed in there now? I'll have to put you down. I don't, I mustn't realise my own strength. I didn't feel, oh, there we go. See, why would it twist out so easily that way? Right. How did I, I was held in this? There we go, I think that's right. Um, yeah. What I'll do, oh yeah, what plug have we got? We always like to look at these, don't we? We've got a, who is it? A Clydesdale, a Clydesdale plug. Never really seen a Clydesdale. Um, yeah, it looks like that perma plug type of material. Um, it's probably not, no, it's probably a, it's one of them. If it hits the deck, it ain't gonna break, which is what you want on a vacuum cleaner. If you look at many Hoovers, they don't have the right, well, it is the right, they, they have a plug on that isn't made of a durable plastic. The perma plugs are always great. People just used to put old 1940s MK plugs on them, because you've got to remember, if people, this Hoover won't have come with a fitted plug, and the people that bought it will have just used an old plug so they might have had an old MK one from the 40s in the shed and they'll put that on they might not necessarily have bought a new plug to go with it so lots of the time you will see 80s hoovers with 40s plugs and things and when the plug gets dropped it shatters into a million pieces if it's anything like an old MK which is a shame because they do look lovely on the um, on the older cleaners well when I say the older cleaners I mean the 40s cleaners like that radio, once that's refurbished, that will get a lovely brown Bakelite MK plug. So, I've put it in one, haven't there's that bell dinging. It's crying for attention because it wants a video doing. And again, so, we'll plug it in here. God, that's a bit close to me thing, actually, isn't it, really? Um, I'll just put it there. We'll be able to feel the suction when I turn it on. So let's see here. We're in one. Leave it in one. So it'll start on low. So if it goes bang, hopefully it'll go bang that bit quieter than it will on high. Right, so let's go. <laughs> it runs fine. Nothing wrong with that. Did you see all the dust it blew out when it turned on? I told you to do that. I think the headlight bulb's blown. I can't see it on anyway. But it is in front of a 230 watt floodlight, so we'll give it the benefit of the doubt and we'll turn this off. And then we'll turn it on. Oh, wrong switch. No. Headlight bulb's gone. So I'll have to get one of them. If it just takes a normal 240 volt appliance bulb, I've got one, but I've got a horrible feeling it'll take a 12 volt thing. Or it might be a car bulb, I don't know, I'll have to look. Does the bag full light work? We won't actually be able to test by doing that on the hose, putting my hand over, because it's a dirty fan cleaner and it depends on the when the air gets hard to push out, that's when the bag full light works. So, what we'll do, 
put it on high or position two as it's called on the switch and turn it on and see how it sounds now Ooh, loud Oh, I think the brush roll isn't spinning. Shall we have a look? brush roll so the belts are either severely stretched or snapped oh well, there's not one there probably just snapped or stretched I don't know and um, the brush rolls not turning anywhere I thought it might have had a clutch like I said I don't know these machines 100% another one of them little spider things oh hate them see it there trying to get away from me not letting it um yeah so New headlight bulb or lamp, if you want to be correct, use the correct terminology. New belt and a bit of love. The permabag thing sorting out. That'll never be great. Um, it sounds like my Turbo Master. And if I can sort out why it's not going lower, <laughs> I'd appreciate that if anyone's got any ideas. Whether I'm not just yanking it hard enough. Tell you what we'll do for a bit of fun. We'll take this off. God, it's gonna blow everywhere now, I know it. And I'm gonna put my hand over that fill tube thing. And we might, if we're lucky, get a bag full light. So, on to two. We don't have many things on this cleaner. We don't have any tools. We don't have a proper bag. We don't have a working headlight. We don't have a working brush roll. But what we do have is a working bag full light. That's made me happy. Right, so I've shown you lots of things on it now. So what we'll do is we'll end the video by me unplugging it. I wonder what fuse is in there. Probably 13 amp. Um, yeah, I'm not going to wind it up again. I'm going to start stripping it now. And Well, I don't know, actually, it's a bit late. I might not. Yeah, I'll post it as I update it. Well, I'll update it. Hey, eh? I'm too tired to be doing this. I will refurbish it or service it, whatever I decide to do, and post update videos through its life as it gets better. And then one day we'll do a demo video. So yeah, thank you for looking at my... Oh, I've not shown you the rating plate. I must do that. I do that on everyone. I couldn't believe I nearly forgot to do that. Where Where is it on these machines? There it is. Oh yeah. Ah, it's got a bellow. The bellow's in good condition. Thank God for that they are. Um, can you see that? We've got a Hoover model U2662, 240 volts, 50 hertz, 450 watts, BAB approved, British Electro. No, it's not British Electro Technicals board. What's the BAB again? British Electro Technical Approvals board. That's what it is. I knew I knew it. Serial number U2667213034371. Is that a 7 or a 2? There's no 7 in it, so I've just got that wrong. Listen again, people. It's a U266... It's a, <laughs> it's a U266... 21120347. That's what it is. 
you can see it there just about yeah it's double insulated made by hoover where's it made great britain go hoover right so it's a lovely little thing apart from the fact there's a dead mealworm on it there we'll pretend that was never there oh I wonder how dead mealworms got there so yeah it's got a low profile mode it lies completely flat on the floor good for it I don't understand why it won't come out of Ugh. never mind I'll sort that out later if no one helps me so there we go thank you for looking at my what is it late 80s early 90s I'm going to go with late 80s being it's a turbo power one saying that it's a perma bag so they came out later late 80s I'm just going to say it's late 80s thank you for watching a video on my newly acquired late 1980s hoover turbo power one freedom bagless soon to be bagged hopefully bagless upright vacuum cleaner thank you for watching this video and i'll see you soon bye for now